Jerry James Stone and you're watching Cooking Stone. On today's show, I'm going to make a forged plum and red wine sorbet. It's kind of funny how life works out sometimes. So I had planned to make this forged plum ketchup with a good friend of mine named Sabrina, who has this amazing food blog, which you totally should check out. It's called The Tomato Tart. But it just didn't work out. Like, sometimes things just don't work out, right? And so I was at it for another friend's birthday party, who happened to also be a forager, and he had went and like forged just bags and bags and bags of plums. His name is Martin Reed, and he has this great sustainable seafood company if you eat fish. I don't, but if you eat fish, Martin is the person to go to. And so um, he gave me all these great foraged plums. So while I didn't get to make the ketchup with Sabrina, the plums that Martin gave me, I'm gonna make this amazing sorbet with. So I think you're gonna like it. The first thing we're gonna do is just slow roast our foraged plums here. Um, I didn't pit them first because, you know, uh, it'll be much easier to pit them once they're roasted. So do that first. So I've pitted the plums and I've pureed them and now I'm adding it to the saucepan. You should have about a cup of plum puree. No worries if you have a little bit more or a little bit less, you can just adjust the wine accordingly. Add in the bay leaf, add in our cup of sugar. Now add in our two cups of wine. And now let's bring it to a boil. You just want the sugar to dissolve. So it's boiling nicely there, now I'm gonna turn it down. So now we're gonna go ahead and churn our uh, plum and wine mixture. So start the ice cream maker. And then just add the mix in per the instruction. So I think this is about ready. Let's take a look here. Get it open. Oh yeah, that's looking nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the, I'm gonna scoop it all out, put it into a, a container and just stick it in the freezer just to kind of firm it up a little bit, just for a few minutes, and then it's ready to serve. Taste it first though. Gum. Oh. 